Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to tonight's KIF volleyball matchup between the Waimea Minihuni and the Kapa'a Warriors. This is your host, Rod Green, with my sub partner in crime tonight, Mr. Matt Gonzalez. Matt, how you doing? Hey, I am doing great, Rod. Thank you for getting not only the crowd pumped up, but I'm pumped up for this game now. <laughs> You do a great job with the PA announcing. I appreciate that. I'm honored to have you uh, next to me. I know that you are a Kapa'a alumni in volleyball. Not only that, you also played volleyball for BYU. That was a long time ago, <laughs> Rod. Long time ago. Um, I think there might be a couple of pictures still somewhere. I don't know if they've been digitized, but yeah, a long time ago. But just stoked to be able to come out and watch um, the Warriors and the Manehune tonight, and I'm um, hoping for a great match tonight. I, I am as well. The first time these two teams met, Kapa'a was victorious in four sets in Waimea, so uh, Kapa'a trying to hold on to that uh, 
record and uh, see if they can defeat Waimea here at home. They have lost one game to Island School this season, so they're still in the hunt for the first round. So um, it'll be interesting tonight. A couple of uh, really good players to watch out for for Waimea is uh, Kehlani Lewis, who's really a high riser. And I think Chris J. Johnson also is a person to look out for. On the uh, Kapa'a side, of course, Kyle Bouncett is a, a very dominant uh, outside hitter. And uh, the one thing about this uh, Kapa'a squad is it's, it's pretty deep. One of the, you, you got somebody starting for the first time in Emery Picharosity, who's also a high flyer and can really bang the ball. So I'm, I'm excited as well. I think it's going to be a great match. Yeah, sounds good. Looks like, um, yeah, like you said, the coaches are always tinkering with lineups, trying to see what the best combination is. So let's see what happens tonight. All right, here we go. Why man would be starting it off. And just like that, uh, why man with the unforced error, Kulea Calve hitting it in the net. So Cal bounce it. will be serving it up for the Warriors. Nice um, hit off the hands there by Kohe Lauli'i. He gets them on the board. Yeah, uh, Daniel Kao Hali'i, he's a center for their uh, basketball team as well, so he's very athletic. Yeah, he's definitely a big presence there in the front row. And just outside by Lapella Mokuahi. Yeah, it looked like they had the timing right, just a little wide there. And Austin Green unable to convert. So I may have off to a quick three to one start. Looks like uh, Austin didn't quite get an approach on that one. Not the approach he wanted, but uh, they're still warming up here. And Pitcher Rossetti with a nice dink. Able to catch White May off guard. Yeah, Emery found a nice little hole right behind the block that time. Perfect. Big shot. And pitcher Rossetti hits it in the net. You think the uh, Warriors are a little nervous this yeah. Opening up this game or what? Yeah, they started off with some unforced errors. They're going to want to fix that as soon as possible, obviously. That is the set that uh, Austin wanted and uh, great location on that set by Steeler. Yeah, beautiful set by Steeler. So Austin Green will serve it up for the Warriors, number three. And just like that, Warriors have tied it up. Yeah, tough little float serve there. Hard to handle. So let me ask you, as a former volleyball player, is it more difficult for you to hit the float serve or the fast jump serve? And Curran Pope with the nice one. They, the got kill. The, they got the timing right on that one, yeah. As far as a serve receive, if I'm receiving the ball, I always prefer the jump serve because that it's a more predictable ball, right? You got the top spin, the float serve. The ball is doing the hula. It's hard to <laughs> it's hard to figure it out sometimes. Yeah. And the Warriors are able to block it and keep it in bounds. Yeah, Kaohe Lauli just. 
Took a swing at it, and uh, you know, good things happen when you hit the ball hard. Yep. So he was just replaced by uh, Makai Cibola Bernhardt, who will be serving for the Minihumi. And pitcher Rossetti finds a little uh, Puka once again behind that wall. Yep, nice. He, he really adjusted to a set. I don't think he was expecting the ball. It was a little tight, a little outside, but he made the best of it. And that's the one thing about these Warriors that I've noticed. The outside hitters, they, they're really flexible and they know how to make the adjustments on the fly. Oh, they called a uh, little uh, violation there. Somebody on the Waimea side uh, stepped on the line. Oh. Big break for the Warriors who have a 7-5 lead in this first set. And just out of bounds for the mini Hooney. Yeah, that was a that was a close one. Real close one. You know, I give these these umpires and the refs a lot of credit. Because these are really bang bang calls and you gotta be right on it. Yeah, absolutely. And we and we gotta be grateful for anybody who's willing to come and ref and uh, help make these games possible. Absolutely. Wow. Strong Number kill by uh, Mose. Yeah, that one got uh, uh, Mr. Bonset on the noggin that time. <laughs> well, we like when our players use their heads, so. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Yeah, it looks like those outside sets are just a little, I, it looks like Steelers trying to get the ball out there quickly, which I love, but uh, the location looks like he's, um, you know, maybe going a little too far out there. So Felici Hunt will come in and replace Kyle Bouncett. And I know we talked a little bit about it off air, and I've mentioned it before in previous broadcasts. This Kapa team is very deep, so when they do make replacements and substitutions, it's not a drop off. And just like this, Kyle Bounce it comes. Oh, Felici Hunt rather comes in and gets the kill. It, it's it's funny. It seems like the outside hitters are just kind of dinking it over. They haven't really taken too many full swings yet. Yeah, that one, Felici kind of looked like it was a changeup almost. He looked like he was going to swing, and then he kind of did a little thought about it. Shot. Yeah, yeah, and it worked out. Nice block by Napella. Oh. Yeah, we were, uh, Warriors were caught a little off guard there on the transition, but yeah, you, you said it right, uh, Mokoahi with a nice block. I love seeing an offensive lineman play volleyball. <laughs> I love that. As, as most might know, Napella was one of the star uh, linemen for Kapa'a this past year. Very athletic. And Felici with the emphatic kill. Absolutely. Now, that was a great location on that set. Uh, and Felici went, ripped it right down the line. I must say, this is one of the uh, more raucous crowds that I've heard here at Kapa. I like it. Very supportive. Kapa oh. with the incredible saves. Oh, and a nice kill by Waimea right down the line. Yeah, it looks like uh, Aukele Kealoha uh, saw Felici Hunt's uh, line shot and said, hey, I'll have one I'll too. I'll take some of that. Yeah. <laughs> Free ball for Minihuni. Oh, and Kehlani Lewis evens it up for Waimea. Yeah, that's one of the reasons why you don't want to really give too many free balls because it gives the other team the chance to do a perfect set and they can run all their options. And Waimea absolutely crushed that one set there. Oh. 
Felici with the save, steal it Burley, and free ball as pitcher Rossetti gets it back over. And once again, the mini Hooney and Kehlani Lewis with another strong kill. Yeah, it's, it's pretty clear that Waimea, if they get a free ball and a perfect set, they're going to go to the middle. And why wouldn't you with uh, Lewis, Lewis hitting like yeah. that? So the Warriors tried to give them a dose of their own medicine with the middle and not quite as successful, so. Yeah, Lewis read that, he was there. I mean, he just put up the roof and put it down. I think we gotta serve before the whistle there. Ooh, okay. Even on these free balls, I think Kapa is going to want to try and uh, adjust the location, make it a little bit harder for Waimea to run their their offense. And once again, Kapa unable to convert, so Waimea is taking a 13 to 10 lead. Yeah. I think uh, one more. Papa might want to consider taking a timeout to settle these boys down and get them back, back in line. And Felici puts an end to that, a nice kill. Yeah, he he ripped it down the line, went off the block. Um, I like I like how he went up there very aggressively. And Mr. Hunt, after that kill, will serve him up. It'll be a free ball for the Warriors. Sayamo. See if the Warriors can capitalize. And they do. Emery Picharosity with another kill. Yeah, I like Emery. Emery's a cool cat out there, you know. He's he doesn't look like he gets too nervous. I mean only a sophomore, right? He's only a sophomore, yeah. He's a very even killed personality. Yeah. Very smooth swing there. Looks like a, oh, I thought we would have had a violation there. Guess not. Uh, the Kapa'a coaches thought that that hit the antenna. The antenna, yeah. I, I don't think it did. I think it bounced off there. Um, I'd have to see that again, though. So Alkele Kealoha will be serving it up for Waimea. And Picharasati, once again, another kill. Yeah, very calm swing. He goes high off the hands, gets the tool, uh, gets the point. Uh, I like uh, Emery's uh, evening so far. Yeah. Trying to just dink it in. Felici with the unforced error. Yeah, I'm not. I'm not really keeping track, but that looks like maybe four or five unforced errors already for the Warriors. Yeah. How do you feel about setting to the back court as opposed to the front court? You know, I Austin uh, Green with the kill there. Yeah, I, I. You know, I, I think when the back set is put in the right location, I mean, you have somebody like Austin there who can put it away. I mean, it's a great option. You know, the, the, the setter's job is really to deceive the block, right? So if he can get it, the blocker's going one way and then back set it. Oh, you know, what, what Austin wants to see is just one blocker out there, if, if possible. So... So just like that, Warriors have tied it up. Austin Green with the serve. And another unforced error. Austin had a nice uh, rip at that one, but unable to convert. 
Yeah, he took a nice swing at it. Um, that that was what they call the D set, right? He's <laughs> Austin's now in the back row. Yeah. So he can't uh, take off from. He's got to take off from behind that three meter line, right? And Curran Pope with a nice set by Steeler Burley. That's one thing that they weren't as successful with last game, those number one sets. But it seems like the uh, Steeler and his middle blockers have gotten back on track with that. Yeah, that one, that, I mean, if you get good passes, I mean, you want to run the middle as much as you can because it's just so hard to stop. Nice swing by Felici Hunt and the Warriors able to take the lead. 17-16. So Emory Picharosity will come back and serve him again. Yeah, Felici came in for Kyle who um, took that one ball, I think, in the face. And he went and got some treatment. But I see him back on the bench. It looks like he can, he'll be able to come back into the match. But, I mean, if Felici keeps swinging like that, might make it hard. It's blocked by Steeler and current Pope. Felici with the strong hit. And will be out of bounds. Point to the Warriors. Yeah, Steeler Burley did a great job there. The, the pass was uh, an overpass, but he, you know, did what he was supposed to do. Got up there and blocked and uh, won the point for Kapa'a. Looks like uh, we got a net violation. violation against the Warriors. Huh? Yeah, so even though the ball was hit out, the point goes to Waimea because Kapa, uh, the assistant referee, is saying that uh, Kapa was in the net on that one. I think they're saying four hits. Yeah, it looks like that ball by Felici Hunt did not go over the net. Therefore, when the ball ricocheted off the net, it was actually their fourth hit. Fourth hit, yeah. Which, of course, violates the number one rule in volleyball, right? You can only hit it three times. Three times. Well, that was a tough serve. Wow. The current Pope, once again, the Burley-Pope combination has been lethal. Yeah, you asked about the back sets earlier. I mean, that back one set is a tough set to connect on, and they that was beautiful. So Desaya Munden will serve for the Warriors. Free ball for the Warriors. See if they can capitalize on it. Stiller tried to sneak one in there. Pitcher Rossetti with the nice save. Tip by Burley. Nice block by the Warriors. Oh, what a great kill by Austin Green. Yeah, Austin had a couple of D swings on that um, rally, and he, uh, it, it looked like they were a little wide on the set, but he ripped it right back into the court. He did a good <laughs> job adjusting on those. I saw your money with the serve. And Austin Green with another kill. Wow, I think they called it out. It looked good Oh, from here. did they call it out? Oh, wow. It looked good from my our vantage point, but we're kind of on the opposite side. This so. is true. Maybe the crack Kapa'ahai media will have a replay <laughs> of that one later. <laughs> oh! And still a Burley catching Waimea off guard with the little dink. I like those every now and then. It keeps the defense honest. Yeah, I think Steeler did the right thing in that circumstance. The ball, the pass was a little tight, 
if he tried to set it, he might have ended up in the net. So that was a great dump. Oh, great save. And the mini Huni. Yeah, both sides are, are, you know, taking swings. I love it. I love watching um, both teams go at it like that. And this has been a back and forth first set. These guys are really going at it. So. Yeah, and that in that play, that dig by Steeler was amazing off of that quick um, hit. And Felici with the nice roll hit just to get the ball in. I like that. Yeah, you know, it's, I, I think sometimes players, they'll, you, you know, if they don't get the set they want, they'll still try and bang it, and, and that's when you get the unforced error. He kept that one in play, and, you know, it worked out for him that time. Nice swing by pitcher Rossi's heat. Minihuni able to keep it in play. Napella with the block. Oh. And it'll be Warrior Ball. I think the net violation against Waimea. Yeah, Okele Keloha's eyes lit up on that. <laughs> <And> he, <laughs> he went for it, but yeah, he was definitely in the net on that one. And we got a timeout, looks like, by Waimea. Yep, Kapa'a has, you know, kind of, it's been a back and forth set, but Kapa'a is in a good spot right now. Hopefully they can close it out. Oh, we got the replay here. Oh, yeah. Nice kill. That was by one Felici. of uh, Felici Hunt's... Uh, Kills down the line. Great defensive play on this one by Steeler Burley. But then, oh yeah, that was kind of the highlight of the match so far. Those two hits right down the line. Yeah. There's a very strong kill by Keilani Lewis right there. Yeah, he's had a couple of those um, in this uh, set. Yeah. And he gets up. Like you mentioned, uh, once you give those free balls, it, it's easy for the other team to capitalize on it. So, Yeah, just from, I mean, this is the first time I'm watching Waimea, but to me, their strength seems to be in the middle. middle yeah. So if you can get them out of system and make them set the outsides, I think you're, you're better off, you know. But if you let their middles get those nice sets, then you might be in trouble. And another kill for Austin Green. Yep, Steelers going to that back set quite a bit. He uh, is, he is. They call that, uh, I don't know if they still do, when I played volleyball, they called it the five set. Uh, mm. And Austin, that was great timing, and he went right off the block. Nice serve by Felici Hunt. And that'll do it for the first set. Kapa 25, Waimea 20. Yeah, once the Warriors uh, kind of minimized their unforced errors, they really um, took control of this set. You know, a little bit of a slow start at the beginning, maybe nerves. Yeah. But, uh, you know, once they started, and, and there were a few times uh, both Emery and Felici. You know, the sets weren't perfect, and they kept it in play, and uh, they were able to come back and win that set. Definitely. I think uh, that's the beauty of having a set that goes to 25. Even if you do have a, a slow start, 
you have enough time to get yourself back in it, you know, call a timeout, settle your team down, and that's what the Warriors were able to do. I give credit to both teams this first set. They both were kind of nip and tuck the entire way, so it'll be interesting to see how the rest of this match plays out. Yeah. Oh, nice, nice first set here. Um, we're seeing some of the highlights. There was one of Austin Green's uh, kills there. Um, hey, we, we got to give a big shout out to our Kapa'ahai media team. Oh, they're incredible. Led by uh, Mr. Chris, Chris Sandro. Sandro yep. And we thank them for their uh, their efforts. Um, I, I enjoy, there's a lot of times I think about coming to the game, but then I go, hey, I can watch it <laughs> from the comfort of my couch. <laughs> oh, that was that back that set. That was awesome. I want to give a shout out to uh, Mr. Christian Jenkins. He's one of the biggest Chicago Bulls fans on the planet. <laughs> I know he's seething right now as he's hearing me say that. But uh, he uh, couldn't be here tonight. So, uh, like I said, it's, it's an honor to have you, Matt. Uh, but I got to ask a question. I know that you played volleyball and your brother played volleyball. You guys were both standout athletes for Kapa. The question that everybody wants to know, who's the better athlete, you or oh, your brother? Oh, you know, it's a, it's a question that uh, there's a very simple answer to. Uh, okay. You know, may, I may not look it, but, yeah, I was definitely the better You're athlete. You were the man. Okay. okay. Now, today, he's the better athlete. Gotcha. Now, I, you, know, you know, Greg, uh, you know, I don't want to make it about the Gonzalez brothers, but Greg was a phenomenal basketball player. Um, I would have to give him the edge in basketball. Okay. But I think Greg would agree I was definitely the better baseball and volleyball player than him. And football. And foot. Well, yeah, probably, yeah. yeah. No, so I would say, what, three, the score is 3-1 me. Okay. No, uh, yeah. no. And he would have a different answer. <laughs> right, right. But, uh, no, yeah, that, that's, uh, you know, there are a couple of games on um, YouTube oh. that, uh, that we ended up putting up from, like, back in the 80s. Okay. And uh, yeah, I, I will say, Greg, my brother Greg, he was a uh, he was a very good athlete and somebody that I kind of aspired to follow. He was a, you know, he was two years older than me, so I followed him all through high school, followed him up to BYU, and uh, yeah, now we work at the same school. That is, that's awesome. That's awesome. Give it back to the community. Yeah, you know, when I was in high school playing volleyball, um, our one of our coaches. Um, you know, my, our head coach, when I played volleyball at Kapa'a, was a guy, uh, Mr. Scott Kramer. Rest in peace. We lost Scott a few years ago. Um, but also one of the coaches, assistant coaches, was none other than Leroy Kaona, who is the father of, um, of Kapule, Coach Kapule and, and Coach Nui. Nui. Yeah. yeah and, and so they, I, I would have to say, they, they are the number one Volleyball, volleyball Ohana in, here in Kapa'a <laughs> on the east side for sure. There's no doubt about that. So we're about to start our second set. For those of you just joining us, Kapa'a won the first set 25-20. And Steeler Burley will be serving for the Warriors. Yeah, Steeler, uh, another Kapa'a football standout. Um, I remember in the game against Lahaina Luna this year in the state uh, tournament, he made the big tackle that ended the game. Um, Steeler, a great kid, great student, a great athlete. And Emery Picturosity able to get the score for the Warriors. A little bit out of sync there for both teams. Yeah. Uh, I've, been, I've been really impressed with Emery so far. He's just so smooth out there for a sophomore. I mean, this kid is going to be somebody to watch over the next couple of years. Not only in volleyball, but basketball as well. Not sure what the call was. Yeah, I missed that one myself. But the Warriors get the point.
Great attempt by Desaya Munden, unable to keep it in. Yeah, I love, I love players that are willing to give up their body like that, you know, and that's what you want out of a libero. Um, you know, especially as a middle blocker, you get a touch on a ball like that. You want to see somebody go after it, right? And Desaya Munden will definitely sacrifice his body. And Austin Green a little off kilter there with that, that swing. Yeah, Austin playing the opposite position, typically hitting from the right side. Uh, but in this uh, serve-receive rotation, he's uh, that was, I think, his first swing from that side of the court tonight. And Emery, who's normally hitting on the other side, is his first swing from the opposite side. So he's a little out. So see if they can make the adjustments yep that's why they want to get the ball over the net one time so that they can switch and get back to their uh more comfortable sides right nice dig by white man's libero oh and kaylani lewis with the powerful kill yeah, Kelani Lewis has got some springs, yeah. The Waimea, over the years, Waimea, never really the tallest, but always had the jumpers. That was a good decision by Emery Picharosity to hit that ball. It looked like it was borderline. And Kelani Lewis is just swinging, just <laughs> free swinging right now. He's in a groove. Yeah, again, for Kapa'a, you want to get Waimea out of system so that they cannot set uh, him in the middle. So just like that, Waimea with the four-point lead. Yeah, volleyball is definitely a game of, of streaks, of ups and downs. Ups and downs, ebbs and flows. And you get into a rotation sometimes. Kapa's having a hard time getting out of this, this rotation. And Green hits it into the net. Looks like they might have to call a timeout and just like that they do. Yeah, as a volleyball coach, um, you know, there are sometimes rotations that you just hope to get out as get out of as quick as you can and looks like Kapa'a right now is struggling to get that sight out, yeah. But as we mentioned earlier, it's 25. So you got a got a ways to go. You got time to get back on track. Yeah, definitely. I I think uh, coach Kapule you know, probably did not want to use a timeout this early in uh, this set, but, you know, he had to call it. I think they, uh, Waimea just rattled off, what, four or five points in, in a row. row. Yeah. So I think it does, and, and tell me as a volleyball player if this is true, I think not only does it settle your team down, but it can also get the server kind of out of rhythm a little bit too. Yeah, when I, whenever, like, I, I'm sure Coach Tori for Waimea probably told her server, make sure this one goes in, because you don't want to get... The oh, ball still in play. Yeah, I think Kapa thought that they touched it four times, so they kind of stopped Stop playing. playing. Yeah, that's what it looked like to me. Yeah. But, yeah, like we were saying, I mean, the last thing you want to do... Uh, for Waimea at this point, you know, since Kapa is struggling with this rotation, the last thing you want to do is bail them out by serving it out. Yeah. So Miles Green is going to come in for Austin Green. And Pichirasati hits it out. Yeah, it looks like Miles might be a little bit of an energizer bunny. He's come in. He's trying to pump the boys up. And Kyle P Bounce It will come in for Emory Pitcherosic seat. So we'll see if uh, whatever ailed him earlier, if the trainers were able to rectify it. I like the substitution. I think. Uh, and just like that, Kyle with the kill. Yeah, uh, uh, Kyle makes Coach Capule look like a genius there. <laughs> the, the move pays instant dividends, and they get out of that. Uh, 
very difficult rotation. Not a good set by Waimea there. Yeah, I mean, that back set is, is a, it's a tough set to do. And when you're off the net like that, even more so. Nice block by Miles Green. Yeah, both Bonsit and Green making uh, making the Kapa'a coaches look like geniuses. <laughs> and I said it earlier, they they got a deep squad, so you can bring somebody in and not have any fall off. Free ball for the Warriors. And we got a violation against the Warriors. Yeah, it looks like uh, they called uh, the Warriors. Somebody went under the net on that uh, last block. Another kind of unforced error there. So Kelly K. Aloha will be serving it up for the Mini Hooney as they have a 10-5 to lead. with the score. Yeah, it looks like Waimea was called for being in the net that time. A lot of net violations today. Yeah. So, Curran Pope just came in for Desaya Munden, the libero. Wow, that ball was dancing. Yeah, it was. It's interesting to see it from this vantage point. Yeah. Oh, and the white man, Mini Huni, unable to convert on that little miss, miss hit there. Yeah, and I don't think we can, uh, you know, you, 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 it's, it's tough. It's a tough position what Kyle Bonsett and, and uh, Green are doing. Miles. Miles, you know, you're sitting on the bench, you're not in the game, and you come in and you're just all of a sudden jumping, you know? Yep, and you're expected to produce. Yeah. And K. Aloha hits it in the net, so... Hey, you, you mentioned it earlier. You, these guys are making uh, the coach look like a genius right now. Kapa able to shrink yeah. this lead to only two. Yeah, them coming in and being hot like this is reminiscent of Vinny the Microwave Johnson. Johnson, oh, you're going back. <laughs> Another net violation. And that one will be against the Warriors. Yeah, a lot of times those net violations, you know, they're caused by just having a, you know, the, the blockers just, just being a little overzealous at the net, you know. Miles Green with a strong hit. Another net violation. <laughs> wow. I don't think I've seen this many net violations, especially in succession. Right, in a row like that, yeah. But again, I like the way Miles Green has come into this set, you know, and he's given the team a spark. That's blocked by Pope. Another block by Steeler, Burley. Yes, Steeler got out there, you know, penetrated over the net, got a nice block there. So the Warriors are within one. How tall is Steeler, you think? If you ask me, I'd say he's about 5'9". Yeah, not very tall. And Felici Hunt with the kill as the Mini Huni unable to make the save. Great effort by Medina, but unfortunately for the Mini Huni, unable to make that save. So the Warriors have tied it up. After being down five. And just like that, Inoka Mose with a strong kill from the middle. Yep, again, that middle for Waimea, that is their bread and butter. If they, if they can get a good pass, they almost always are going to go to the middle. And why wouldn't they? They've got two solid athletes playing the middle. K. 
Felici Hunt with a strong kill. Yeah, I really like the way Felici is swinging. I mean, he is going after it, and I, I really believe at this level, you know, boys volleyball at this level, you got to hit the ball hard, yeah. you know. Um, the roll shots, the dink shots, they're only going to get you so, so far. Good, yeah. the, the men's volleyball, it, it really is a, I mean, gosh, women's volleyball is a power game too. Pope able to give the Warriors a lead, 13 to 12. Yeah, he was he was uh, ready for that overpass. Um, I think even if he didn't get the kill, he, they may have had a case for a back row blocker because their setter went up and tried to block that too. Oh. And Felici Hunt. Another kill. Yeah, again, Felici jump went up there, stayed calm, you know, just put it in, in the court. Kept the play alive. Yeah, Felici is one of my favorite players. I love the way he serves. It's, it's a flat, no-nonsense, compact serve. And he's got a nice swing as well. <laughs> it looked like the uh, middle blocker for Waimea just kind of threw the ball down. Yeah, it almost looked like Kapa'a there was uh, reenacting some kind of kung fu theater on that. Uh, <laughs> they took a couple of karate chops, uh, kung fu um, swipes at the ball that time. Five deadly venoms. Oh, great. Kill by Kyle Bouncett. Yeah, that was a um, that was a great uh, play by Kapa'a overall. You know, Steeler Burley. You normally you don't want your setter taking the first ball, but because he took the first ball, um, they went to their secondary setter, which is their libero, and he gave and Bouncett put it in a spot where nobody's gonna get. Oh, nice block by Napella Mokuahi. That is a big boy. He is. That is an offensive lineman playing. I love it. I love it. So that just is a testament to his athleticism. Yeah, absolutely. I'm a big proponent, and I think you are too, Rod, of, of these kids playing multiple, multiple sports. sports. Yes. Yeah. And bounce it. Emphatic kill once again. Yeah, I want to say every time you say his name, it sounds like you're saying bounce it, and that's what he, <laughs> that's what he is uh, threatening to do every time he goes up there is bounce that ball off the, off the wooden floor. He is. We're watching a replay right now. Awesome block by Napella. Yeah, Napella, you, you know, I, I love seeing, especially this senior class, Napella, Kyle, Bonsit, um, Steeler, you know, Steeler. I love Miles. Miles. I love seeing Curran, I think, is a senior as well. Well, Curran is actually a, a junior. Oh, is he a junior? Yeah, okay. that's the beauty of. Wow, I thought he was a senior, but I love seeing these seniors being able to play um, because, as you know, those were the that was the class that missed their freshman year because mm, of COVID. COVID. Yeah. That's right. That's right. So they didn't get to play. So a lot of these kids, you know, this would have been like their fourth year of volleyball, but it's actually only their third. And again, our Kapahai media team, great uh, replays here. You know, the last time I did a, a game of the broadcast, we didn't have the replays yet, I don't think, Mr. Sandro. This has been a – this is – Nice touch. and yeah, these guys are constantly improving. Did you look behind you to see the uh, the banner? Yeah, beautiful. I love it. Yeah, Papa, we're we're constantly trying to step up our game. Hey, <laughs> hey, we've made this old gym look pretty nice. It's got a certain charm to it, I'd say. So Waimea comes back after the timeout. 
Yeah, great timeout by the Waimea coaches. Um, you know, Coach Tori. Coach Tori uh, Kagawa is somebody that I uh, admire from the east, you know, living here on the east side. She's so active in her community, coaches soccer, coaches volleyball. She's a school teacher, just contributes so much to the community. And Miles Green unable to convert. Yeah, it's awesome to have uh, these coaches that are so involved in, the, you know, multiple sports and multiple activities. And that's the, that's the awesome thing about Kauai in general. So many people wear so many different hats, and it's all about the Aina. Yeah, absolutely. And now the Waimea boys are making their coaching staff look like geniuses. <laughs> what a great timeout, and they've run off a string of, what is that, three points three since points. the timeout? Yep. So Mateo Medina will be serving for the Minihuni as they trail the Paw Warriors by one, 17-16. And Bounce it with the kill. Yeah, Bounce it, um, he has got the hops, doesn't he? <laughs> yeah, he does. So effortless, he just yeah. bouncy. Very springy. Dealer Burley with the serve. That set was a little bit off outside of Kyle's range. And Waimea. Trailing 18-17. Yeah, solid block by Waimea there. So Ka'ohe Lali'i back in the game for Waimea. And Kyle Bounce it, just tips it over for the dink. Yeah, perfectly placed. Um, you know, that's like, you know, like in baseball, you know, kind of a change up. Goes yeah. up looking like he's going to swing, but pulls it back at the end and catches the defense off guard. Oh, Waimea may have gotten away with one there. Nice block by Waimea. Miles Green, the swing. Waimea keeping it in play and gonna be out of bounds by Daniel Kaohe Lali'i. Yeah, Kaohe Lali'i took a rip at that. Um, he's a big, strong boy. Just a little wide on that swing. Kehlani Lewis once again. The no-nonsense kill. He goes up, he springs up, and just puts the ball away. Yeah, I think what makes his hit so effective is that he never hits the ball straight into the block. He'll always either, you know, cut it back. He'll hit a real sharp angle, which is really tough to block. And Miles Green with a nice kill. So Curran Pope will come in for Desaya Monday. Yeah, you're one of the keys that you mentioned at the beginning, that Kapa'a was deep. I mean, that is really uh, manifesting itself tonight. Oh, Kehlani Lewis is just taking no prisoners today. Yep, and that was up against, well, Kapa'a actually had two blockers up, but he, you know, went where there was no block, and he just ripped it. Yeah, he's got great placement, great approach, and great power. And a little miscommunication by the Warriors there as Kehlani Lewis gets an ace. Green unable to convert. 
Minnie Hooney on a little run here. Yeah, back and forth we go. Back and forth we go. Let's see who's able to uh, come through here at the end. And the Warriors with the great judgment on letting that ball go out. It was kind of close. And, you know, you, you second guess yourself because you let one go earlier and you're thinking, is it, is it, is it? Yeah. But uh, they made the right decision there, so. This is a crucial serve for the Warriors as they're up 22-21. And Waimea, a little too emphatic with that. A little too much mana. <laughs> <laughs> so Miles Green, 23-21 Warriors will serve again. Desaya Munda with a great effort. Almost had the miracle save, but uh, unfortunately it was just wide. Yeah, talk about great athletes. Uh, Kamale Dasalia Munden, you know, a stud on the football field, an absolute stud on the soccer field. And then, you know, so, you know, comes here and he's the libero, so shifty, so quick. Such a great athlete. Yeah, he lays it all out on the line. Felici with the strong kill, and Waimea unable to keep the ball in play. So the Warriors will be going for Aloha Ball in this second set. Yeah, once again, beautiful set by Steeler on that. Um, Felici ripped it down the line again. Oh, and Waimea. Inoka Mose putting an end to that. Yeah, Mose's another uh, very athletic kid. Uh, you know, good size, good jumper. Let's see if Kapal can capitalize. Bounce set with the emphatic kill. And the Warriors able to Win the second set, 25-23. Bounce it, bounced it on that one for sure. What a, what a rip. That's the, that, those are the kinds of balls that most guys try to hit like in the warm-up. Right. You know, and he did it in the game. Yeah, he doesn't get cheated with the swings. Man, I'm getting to see Rod Green's talents up close tonight. I mean, <laughs> you guys at home, you have no idea what Rod is doing tonight. He's the public address announcer. He's the DJ. He's the play-by-play uh, -play man. Is there anything you can't do? <laughs> you are too kind, sir. You're a too kind. No, hey. I, I, I'm sitting here and I'm, 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 all I'm doing is talking and you've got like two, three, two or three things going on at once. Oh, there's that dink shot again by uh, Bonsit. Kind of pulled out uh, all the shots in that, that set. Yeah, I think Waimea is making them do that. And uh, like you said, their, their middle blockers are just incredible. So... Yeah, it almost, uh, I mean, I, I, this is the first time seeing Waimea, but I've been very impressed by um, their middles, and you almost wonder what, um, you know, how they would look if, if uh, Lewis, for example, played outside. Like an outside hitter. Yeah. Which he has. I've seen him outside before. Yeah, I know a lot of times uh, coaches, you know, they're, they, they, your outside hitters are normally, you know, your best passers and hitters. But uh, I would be interested to see Kelani Lewis uh, get some swings from the outside. In replay, we see one man serving. Burley's set to Kyle Bounce it. 
school ends it for that second quarter. Oh, uh, that's one for the highlight reel for sure. So it'll be interesting to see um, what the Warriors do as far as the starting lineup for this third set. Do you keep the hot hand going? Do you go back to your starters? Yeah, I was thinking the same thing. It'll be interesting to see what Coach uh, Kapule decides. I, When I coached volleyball, I typically would ride the hot hand. Um, so I would not be surprised if he starts uh, this third set the way he ended. But, you know, like you said, one of the things on this team is if you make a couple of mistakes, um, you know, there's somebody who's ready to come in and and uh, step up, you know? So this is a conversation that uh, Christian and I have had before as far as when you replace a player, does that take the confidence away from that player? You know, oh. if, if, you're a, if you're a competitive player, hopefully it fuels you, right? Hopefully you use that as motivation to do better. But I mean, yeah, it, it, it just depends on the psyche. You know, I mean, you look at like Emery, he had such a great um, first set and a half, and yeah. then now he's sitting. Um, but, you know, he looks positive. They look like they're still cheering the team on over there. So, I mean, even Austin, you know, Austin's been sitting now for, you know, he came out, I think, in that second right, right, set. Right around the same time Emery came yeah. out, maybe just before. Right. And so, yeah, it looks like uh, Coach Kapule is um, sticking with the same lineup. And, you know, that's kind of how it is in volleyball. Next time... It, it may, it, you know, every game is different, right? One thing it looks like is uh, Siren Burley may be going in uh, oh, okay. instead of current Pope. Okay. I saw him earlier, and then I think they just replaced him with the libero. So we'll see if Siren comes in instead of Curran on that rotation. Oh, okay, yeah. And once again, Siren is another dynamic uh, middle blocker. Oh! Bounce it, taking no prisoners. He, he looks like he's just about his business right now. Yeah, I mean, how tall is he? What, 5'8"? <laughs> Kyle? Is, is, is he even 5'8"? I'm not sure how tall he is. I mean, but he is getting up there. Nice block. Oh, and bounce it, unable to convert. Yeah, so Kapa had to, you know, Kamale, Dasalia, Mandin had to set. He The first bump set, actually, he put in a great location, but the second one wasn't there. Coach Kapule is uh, letting him know about it. Unforced error by Waimea. So, Lapella... Okuahi will be serving them up for the Warriors as they try to take control of this third set. See if we can have an early night tonight. Jelani Lewis. There he is again. There he is. There's that man. <laughs> yeah, and if you watch that play too, uh, Napella Mokuahi, he served, and then he had to sprint over to his left back position, and so... That's kind of a tough move when you get that quick set. You know, it's hard to get into position in time. That was a great set. Great swing by Felici Hunt. Yeah, that's that's exactly what an outside hitter wants is, uh, is to get that set out there. And the outside hitter should win the one-on-one -on -one battle, you know. The uh, Steeler... Did a good job of deceiving their middle blocker. So their middle blocker was taken out of the play. And Felici only had to contend with one blocker. I think that was a great, great play by Steeler. It looked like Warriors were a little bit out of sync there. Oh. And it looks like it's gonna be mini Hooney ball on point. Looks like she looks like they called a uh, cross 
by Siren Burley. So Siren apparently went over the line oh. and negated his brother's kill there. Well, I'm sure they'll be talking about that on the ride home. Yeah, yeah. So Bernhardt. Great save by Bernhardt. And it looks like it's going to be Kapa ball. Yep. As long as the ball touches any part of the line, it's yep. it's good. And that definitely was in. That that was right uh, right on the line. Got a little lucky. Went off the the net there. Hey, we'll take luck. Yeah. Miles with the pass. Nice swing by Miles Green. And the Warriors able to convert after another kill by Kyle Bouncett. Yeah, Kyle has come in, and he, he looks like maybe he was a little angry for sitting down <laughs> as yeah. long as he was. And he is, uh, he's really lifted the team. Ooh. And my man with the ball right on the line. I love those little cagey kind of, you know, shots like that. Um, you know, beautiful placement. Everybody's... Leaning one way, he goes the opposite way. And Siren, Burley, the Burley-Burley connection. Yeah, perfect pass by Felici Hunt. I mean, that, that back one is only going to really work if you've got a perfect pass. And, and Hunt delivered on that one. So the Saya Mundin, commonly known as Amas. Oh, and Landon's uh -huh. line, Landon's Beautiful. right in the line is the Saya Monday. We talked about it. Miles Green. Burley with the set to bounce set. And Waimea converts on the kill. Ball went off of uh, the Pella's head. He kind of stopped playing for a second. <laughs> Yeah, I think he was probably kind of trying to regroup, maybe. Uh, he's laughing it off. Oh, he's, uh, he's a comedian. And bounce it with the error on the pass there. So we got a 6-6 game, folks. Oh, bounce it with the kill. Yeah, he does have a little uh, edge to him right now. Yeah, I mean, and, and you love to see, you know, a lot of outside hitters, they'll just go angle all the time. And I, I've been really impressed at his ability to go down the line, you know, basically hit it where the block is not set up. And speaking of someone who knows where to hit it where the block is <laughs> not, uh, Mr. Lewis. Lewis. Been hearing his name all night. Yeah, he's a he's a he's a dynamic athlete. Is he what what year is he, Rod? Is he a senior? Kelani Lewis, do you know? Uh, yeah, Lewis is a senior. Bounce it once again. Yeah, bounce it is um, hot right now, and I don't blame uh, Steeler for continuing. Continuing to go Just to him. Keep feeding him. If it ain't broke, don't fix it. Nice block by Felici Hunt. Still a Burley. And Miles Green with the block.
Yeah, another uh, violation called for crossing over the line. So is there one uh, ju ref that's looking for that particular violation? Yeah, it's typically the um, the R2 or the, sec the ref that's standing on the ground. They're looking for those... Uh, those violations and they really have the best view of it right so it's legal for your foot to touch the line right it just can't go past that line yeah i believe any part of your foot that goes over beyond line, yeah but you know rod a lot of rules in volleyball have changed since i played so <laughs> But I'm pretty sure that is the rule. Um, you know, I played in the era where there was no libero. Um, we did not play rally scoring, you know. So you, could, you, had to, you had to serve in order to yeah, score. Yeah, you had to serve to score. So volleyball has definitely changed a lot over the last, you know, 25, 30 years. Josiah Munden. I say bounce it, swing, gonna kill. Man, bounce it is doing it from the right side. He's doing it from the left side, from the back roll. Uh, he is um, on fire right now. Yes, he is. Let's see if Miles Green can keep it going for the Warriors. And the Warriors able to score. Yeah, it looks like the, um, you know, the inclusion of Siren Burley into this game um, has been good. I didn't, I thought Kerr, uh, Pope was playing well. But, he was. Uh, I think maybe coaches just wanted to get uh, Siren into the game. Like you said, just showing off how deep they are. Great block by Felici Hunt. So Miles Green on a roll with the serve. You know, I've seen a couple of practices and I've been around Miles, you know, last couple of years and I love his enthusiasm. He's, he's definitely a fiery leader and a uh, very serious guy. You know, you've got to have guys like that on your volleyball team. I mean, on any team, really, right? You, you want to have guys that are going to be positive, that are going to help you shake off the mistakes. And looks like that's his role on this team. No doubt. Seen some replays of uh, Bonsit with one of his kills. Kehlani Lewis with one of his. See the nice kill by Siren Burley in the replay there. Nice block by Kyle Bouncet. Great effort by Desaya Munden. This was one of the better rallies that we've seen. Oh, yeah, that's the one that went off of uh, Mokuahi's head there. <laughs> We've had a couple of those tonight. Yeah, one ball off of Kyle early. Uh, Kyle's uh, face earlier. And Miles able to keep his composure despite the... And Siren Burley with the block. He's definitely one of your better defensive middle blockers. Yeah, Siren, I, you know, he's got uh, the defensive genes in him, right? He's a defensive lineman on the football um, team and middle blocker on the volleyball team. So, you know, he, he knows how to defend. So here's an inter interesting substitution. Uh, Miles Green has been serving well. Alex Agrada is coming in his first time. And I'm glad he got that serve in because it's been a couple of games where he's come in to replace specifically to serve, only to serve it into the net. 
And you talked about it earlier. You put a lot of times it's difficult for these players who haven't been playing to get inserted into the game, and you ex you know they're expected to to produce. And hey, he's able to do it right now. So it's great to see this call. Great move by the coach, and this is getting his confidence back up. Unfortunately, he's unable to hit that second serve, but that first serve I think was really good for him. Yeah, I like I like the move by Coach Capulli. I think that was a good point to you know let somebody get into the game. Um, you know, you make a good point. It kind of reminds me of like if you watch UH volleyball, they have uh, Keone Tim, right? Um, mm. And he's that just absolute. Uh, you know, juggernaut of a server. Siren Burley with the kill. The yeah. brothers Burley. Yeah, the Burley connection. But, but uh, uh, yeah, what were you yeah, saying? Yeah, going back to, you know, like to sit for, you know, like 45 minutes to an hour. You know, these guys warmed up a while ago. Um, and then to come in and, and put a serve in, that's tough. And the Warriors are on a roll right now. Yeah, it looks like it looks like Coach Capulli is gonna try and uh, you know try and get some of the other guys into the game that maybe haven't gotten in yet. It looks like he's called over uh, Saxon Kimball, planning to maybe put him into the game. And I like that move. I I, I like um, when coaches you know it, it does a lot for team morale. You know, for a kid who maybe doesn't get to play as much. And Siren is just showing why he deserves to be in this game as well. Yeah, I, I, um, you know, I think the coaching staff for Kapa'a, they've made some great substitutions tonight. Everything seems to have worked. So Saxon Kimball will come in for Felici Hunt. Saxon is a really good defender <laughs> Kyle Bouncer continues to just put on a show he's putting on a a killing clinic tonight folks yeah even when he doesn't really connect well. We, he kind of mishit that, but he still got it off the block and got the kill. So we have another substitution coming in. Looks like Michael Raposo will come in for Napella Mokwahi. Yeah. You know, and it's tough for volleyball coaches to, to make some of these substitutions because, you know, you, you, you want to finish the match. You want to get out with the win, but, you know... You also want to reward the boys for for practicing hard and being positive. And Saxon with the kill. That might be Saxon's first kill of the season. And in comes Isaiah Noguchi for Steeler Burley. Now, we talked about him earlier, and I talked about uh, how deep this team is. He's another really good setter for this team. Only a sophomore, so I think uh, his confidence level needs to rise a little bit, but there's no disputing his, his ability. Yeah, Isaiah comes from a volleyball family. I actually played volleyball in high school with his dad, uh, Vince Noguchi. Vince was uh, a senior when I was a freshman, so I played with him, and they, they're a volleyball family. And bounce it with the high IQ dink. Looks like they, uh, Waimea thought maybe they got the pancake down, but uh, turned out to be more of a muffin instead. <laughs> instead of the pancake. <laughs> didn't quite, uh, and they don't, they, they're not arguing it, so it probably was the right call. Nice serve by Noguchi. Great block. Raposo able to get a hand on it, and Munden able to save it. Oh, Kapa keeping the ball in play. Yeah, that's a shame that uh, they had a violation on that because that was I would have liked to have seen that rally keep going. Yeah. 
And we had another headshot. This time was uh, Noguchi, but <laughs> Kapai able to keep it in play. Oh, great effort by the Mini Huni, but unable to convert. What did you think of that set by Noguchi? Uh, I was going to say that was a beauty, you know. Um, nothing fancy, but he put it out there exactly where. And when you got a hitter like uh, Bonsit, the way he's hitting now, that's going to go down. Oh, and Bonsit hits it into the net. Not too many unforced error serves by uh, either team today. Yeah, I, I haven't been watching all of the matches, but no no jump servers tonight. Um, any of the other teams have any jump servers? Uh, Island School. Island School does. And uh, the Red Raiders have a couple of jump servers also. Yeah. I'd like to see Raposo score before this game is over. Yeah. It's hard as a coach, you know, when you make these this many substitutions, it's kind of hard to keep track of, you know, everything and where everybody is. And Saxon Kimball, a little bit too much excitement going for that kill. Coach, Coach Capule definitely, you know, he wants to get out of this set and he's hoping... He doesn't have to put all his starters back in to finish it, you know. Oh, great save. But with every point that Waimea scores and gets closer, you know, he's... He's thinking about it. He's thinking about it. He, yeah. does not wanna, he doesn't want to go to a fourth set. Right. But uh, that was a great block by Waimea in that last play. So they may want to call a timeout. They look a little bit out of sync right now. See what Capulli does. I think he'll call a timeout after this one if they give up a point here. Oh, a little bit too. Yep, and there's a timeout. Yeah, so what do you do? If, if you're the coach, do you put your starters back in? Do you let these guys try and finish it off? I, I think you can actually keep them in, believe it or not. Um, I wouldn't I wouldn't just put the starters back in right now at this point. I think you have a sizable enough lead where you can regroup and go ahead and finish the job. Yeah. And you know, I talked about this team being deep, so let's let's go ahead and see see if they can pull through and I know that they can. Yeah, they get the chance to prove it now. Now if you're Waimea the last thing you want to do is serve the ball out Oh, here. Oh, that would be, yeah. That would be crucial for Waimea. But if you are Waimea, hey, you're, you're thinking, hey, you know what? These guys made a lot of substitutions. Let's try and, let's try and sneak a win out here in this set and, and force these guys to beat us in a fourth or fifth set. Yeah, Waimea will not go down without a fight. That's for sure. Yeah. You know, it's tough, too, because Bonsit, who's your, your hottest hitter, he's in the back row right now, right? So. Great shot by Miles Green. Didn't try to overswing. He just saw where the opening was. Nice measured swing. Got the kill. And, I, and if I was the Kapa'a coach at this point, I would have just given a giant sigh of relief right there. <laughs> you know. Michael Raposo with the serve oh, a little bit out. He would have loved to have an ace to end it. <laughs> but they play on. Yeah, so what? They got three chances here to... Um, to win this. They just need a side out.
And that will do it, folks. Miles Green with the kill to end it. Kapa'a Warriors 25. Mini Huni of Waimea 20 in his third and final set. What do you think? Hey, uh, you know, you said at the beginning of the match that Kapa'a was deep, and they showed it tonight. I mean, you know, you had, I, I think the game really changed when uh, Bonsit and Green came in in that second set. Um, and it just, you know, it kind of pulled them out of a tough rotation, and then they went on a, a streak from there and took the win. I think this is obviously a great win for Kapa'a because it keeps them alive in the second round. And, you know, if they can somehow beat uh, Island School the next time they face each other, which is what? Is that this week? Is that this uh, Friday? I have, to, I have to check. I believe it is. Uh, coming up soon, yeah. anyway. Um, you know, they can force a playoff. And, you know. Anything can happen. Anything can happen. That's one of the beautiful things about the, the round system that the KIF does for volleyball. Are you a fan of the round system? I actually, I actually like it because I think um, our table is. Can you pull the? Yeah, I, I like it. I, 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 I think you know it allows teams to stay in the season longer. So yes, uh, Kapa'a does play Island School at Island School this Friday. Unfortunately, Unfortunately, the Kapa'a High media team will not be there for that ma for that game. We got to take the Kapa'a High media team on the, on the road. That'd be awesome. Yeah. That would be awesome. Yeah. Got to get Mr. Cox to buy a like a truck, a production truck, and there you go. I, I I'm looking at the directors of, of tonight and the camera operators. It looks like they want to do this more often. <laughs> So uh, if you notice the, uh, the tone has gotten lower as we speak because both teams are doing their customary singing of the alma mater at the conclusion of the game, which I think is an awesome touch. Yeah, and it's great to see the, the pride that the kids have in their schools, you know, singing the alma mater. And it seems like when your team wins, you're a little bit more vocal and <laughs> a little bit more enthusiastic when you're singing the alma mater. Yeah, you, you seem to sing more in tune. It just all sounds better, right? It's all coming together. So as we wind down this broadcast tonight, uh, your, your thoughts on what you saw from Waimea? I, you know, Waimea always, you know, they're always going to be scrappy. Um, you know, I, I think, you know, I, I, I'm not sure. I don't know them as well, so I don't want to make suggestions for them. But I would love to see Kehlani Lewis maybe play on the outside, outside a little bit more. But, you know, I'm sure, that, I'm sure there's a reason, you know, the coaches aren't doing that right now. But there's no doubt if they can pass the ball well, their, their middles are almost unstoppable. They are. They are. And they, and they showed it tonight. So with that, um, we want to thank you for tuning in. Once again, uh, I'm Rod Green with Matt Gonzalez. Uh, we want to thank the Kapa'a High Media for bringing the covers to you as they continuously do their flawless production. Look at them over there smiling. They're so good. <laughs> yeah, they did, a, they, did, they did a great job. They're doing a great job. And don't worry, I'm sure there's a bunch of comments on YouTube saying bring Christian Jenkins back. Uh, <laughs> I'm sure he'll be back soon, but oh, yeah. I want to thank uh, you, Rod, and thank uh, Mr. Sandro. Uh, thank Coach Kapule for allowing me to be a part of this broadcast with you guys tonight. Thank you. It was, it was a pleasure to have you here and uh, look forward to maybe having you again here in the near future. I'll be the substitute. Anytime there Christian can't be here, I'll be here. Sounds good. And with that, go Chicago Bulls and go Chicago Bulls. <laughs> Good night, folks. <laughs>